Hey folks, in this video we're going to discuss Houdini SQ, Billing Setup, QuickBooks. The first place we, we need to go is to Settings, Ribbon, and select Billing. Now, uh, we, we, in the previous video we talked about setting up the, the, the settings for uh, billing address, taxes, currency, and all that. Uh, it's a pretty important that you have this stuff set up first correctly, okay, so before you post to QuickBooks. But let's go to QuickBooks tab. And we have uh, uh, just a, a few set of fields we have to fill in. Now, the first field is a QuickBooks company file name, a QBW file. And that's the physical file on disk when you create a QuickBooks company file, such as my firm, uh, PLC, it'll create a corresponding file on disk with that name. What I did is I created one called test. I don't need to use the extension. And the next uh, item is the operating account name. Now, you'll notice there's three fields on this screen that have asterisks in front of them. Those are the only three items that have to exist in QuickBooks prior to using Houdini and posting uh, from Houdini. Uh, an operating account and the two tax uh, items, your item group and, and your tax code that you're going to use for posting. Uh, we don't set those up. Now, Houdini will do everything else for you, even trust account entries, ledger entries, uh, item lists. It does all that stuff with a single click when you do a post, but these three items are very important. They have to be in, in, in QuickBooks, okay? So uh, I set up an operating account called Simon, Emerson Simon Quincy. I'm gonna do my trust account name. I'm just gonna call it Client uh, Trust. Now, <clears throat> if you're not using trust account, you can skip this, it's not important, okay? Uh, client Liability Account, okay? And now my tax. Now, if I go back to QuickBooks, and I'll show you that the QuickBooks doesn't have anything in it. There are no active customers, no transactions. On the item list, you see this tax has been added. And it's been a harmonized tax, because um, I'm doing a demonstration for, for British Columbia, of 12%, which includes uh, state and federal. And we call it Fed State. So I'm going to go back to Houdini, and I'm going to add Fed State. So Houdini uses appropriate uh, information. And uh, tax items, when you put items on invoice, whether it's taxable or non-taxable, uh, you have to use a particular code. And we're just going to use the, the, the default, which is tax. Now, this, this is the part where we actually communicate with, with QuickBooks. Uh, in order to, to post uh, from Houdini to QuickBooks, there has to be an intermediary application that does that. Because Houdini is web-based, it can't talk directly to QuickBooks. And QuickBooks doesn't have an API that allows you to do so. So we have an application called Houdini SQ QuickBooks Connector. What you do is you install this little application. I'll show you what it looks like, just a simple app. I'll go back here. Uh, called Houdini SQ QuickBooks Connector EXC. And this I installed on the machine where QuickBooks is physically running. It could be anywhere on my network. If I'm using a SaaS account and I have QuickBooks running on my machine, I can install it there. So let's go jump back to Houdini and fill this information in. The IP address is different than the machine I'm currently on, so I'm just going to type that in here. Now, the, the QuickBooks is on my network, it's just not on this machine. I'm using, uh, I'm on a Mac here, but QuickBooks is running on a Windows machine. Uh, the default port is 20, uh, 2080, you can change that if you like. Now, if you want to get to post remotely to QuickBooks, uh, you'll have to configure your firewall uh, and, and your router to do so. Uh, it, uh, the QuickBooks connector supports SSL, I'm going to give it the, uh, a unique login name. This has nothing to do with my QuickBooks account login. It's just an account, uh, a login and password I gave to the QuickBooks connector that Houdini is going to use to connect to it. Okay, uh, So this is a password for Houdini to use to connect to the QuickBooks connector, which in turn will connect to the QuickBooks. So that's all there is to it. I'm just going to go ahead and click Save. Now when I post, it'll create all these accounts. It'll create the client trust account. It'll create the client liability account. If, in fact, I'm using trust, if you don't have a trust account, again, don't, don't fill that information in. It'll make a tax postings, and it'll do everything for me in a single click. And I'll demonstrate that uh, for you. Now, an important thing to, to keep in mind is that in order for me to post to QuickBooks, okay, I'm going to go back to settings under staff. I'm a staff member. Let's open my staff member. Now, I'm on, I'm on my staff setup screen. Under group memberships, I have to have the billing clerk role, okay? Only individuals that have the billing clerk role will be able to post to QuickBooks. Okay, so let's go ahead and, 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 and do a quick post. I'm going to go to my billing ribbon, go to pre-bill, and I'm going to use Smythe. I'll make it interesting by actually uh, 
adding a trust to, to, to a trust earned uh, against the invoice when generated. So we, we have a total of 16, 18, 40 with uh, 13, 20 in events and tasks. We have 125,000 expenses, a tax of harmonized tax, which is including federal and state, 5 and 7%. Uh, 17340. Now remember, taxes have to be set up in in QuickBooks uh, to correlate. So uh, we set up a Fed Tax uh, Group uh, in settings, and that's actually what's in in QuickBooks as well. Okay, <clears throat> and uh, we're going to go ahead and and uh, add a little trust earned. Hit a plus here. Uh, he has uh, this client has a trust deposit with us. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a thousand dollars of this trust. If, if I had QuickBooks access, I would have a QuickBooks checkbox here. Now, the reason I don't have a QuickBooks checkbox here, and I got that little dialogue there that popped up saying can't connect to QuickBooks, is because one of two things: either I'm not a billing clerk, uh, I don't I have a, I don't have a billing clerk role, or the QuickBooks connector is not running. Uh, QuickBooks is trying to tell me something. So I'm going to jump back to QuickBooks and see exactly what it wants. Oh, okay. So QuickBooks has its own security. QuickBooks is saying that an application called Houdini SQ is trying to connect to QuickBooks to the test QBW file or my, 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 my company file. Uh, so what you'll have to do, you only get this one time. We're going to go ahead and say yes, prompt each time or, or yes, whenever a QuickBooks company file is open. Oh, always allow. So I'm just going to go ahead and select always allow, okay, uh, and click continue, okay. Confirm one more time, like that. There we go. Now we go back to QuickBooks. I'll close the item list, close the chart of accounts, and you see we have nothing in here. Uh, a customer job, no active customers, no transactions. Okay, I'm going to go back to Houdini. I'm going to close the uh, Pre-bill, we open it, and it should detect that I have access to QuickBooks because I am a a billing clerk, and QuickBooks is running, and we are talking to it. So I get this post to QuickBooks. Let's go ahead and select Smite again, real quick. You see, we have a total of a six six eighteen left on the invoice. We're putting a thousand dollars trust earned. Let's go ahead and and post. So now who means asking if you want to print or, or view the, the actual uh, invoice, we'll look at it real quick. Okay, we have $1,000 in trust with a balance of $4,000. Uh, let's return or apply. Now there's one thing I did forget to do, was to post the deposit to QuickBooks. Since I, I started using QuickBooks uh, after this client's giving me a deposit, I want to go ahead and make sure that it does have that deposit listed. So I'm going to go ahead and open that client. I'm going to go to practice real quick. We'll jump to QuickBooks and see what it did in just a second. I just want to make sure that since we are posting a trust earned against it, it'll have a negative value to make sure that the client has their post. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, this client's ledgers. And when they have this deposit, this $5,000 deposit on trust, we just open that real quick. Again, the post of QuickBooks is, shows up because it knows that it's there. I'm going to make sure that the QuickBooks shows that this client does have a $5,000 in trust. Now, if we jump back uh, to QuickBooks, we'll see that QuickBooks did make the appropriate uh, entries. We have our uh, invoice of $1,680 minus $1,000 uh, credit because of the, 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 the trust deposit. Now, if we would open that, uh, you'll see it says trust earned against the invoice, and there's the invoice number there. So for a total of six, $618.40 remaining. So what Houdini did was create the company file with all the company information. It created a job for that particular matter. It created the invoice and then all the invoice items. Uh, drag this up a little bit. You see the tax there, harmonized tax of 12%. Uh, let's go ahead and close that. Now let's look at the chart of accounts. Uh, if you see the chart of accounts within the, on the client trust bank account, it shows a $4,000. Remember, he had $5,000. We applied $1,000 against that invoice for a total remaining $4,000 in trust. And his liability to account also shows the 4,000. So it's made all the journal entries correctly with a single click, mind you. Now we can go back and let's look at our uh, item list. We then also created all the relative items uh, that are required to make that posting correctly in QuickBooks. So that's QuickBooks setup and uh, thank you for joining me.